The third eastern Pacific storm of the 2012 hurricane season has formed. Good morning, everyone. This is a special 28storms.com and Hurricane Tracker app weather update on newly formed Tropical Storm Carlotta. As of the 2 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, the center of circulation is located at 10.3 degrees north latitude and 93.3 degrees west longitude. As of right now, the storm is moving toward the northwest at 10 miles per hour, and maximum sustained winds are only 40 miles per hour. But by 11 p.m. on Friday evening, the storm is forecast to be a Category 1 hurricane as the core of the storm begins to lash Mexico. And there has been a subtle change in the extended range forecast. The storm is now expected to more so parallel the coast for multiple days, which could set up a period of prolonged heavy rainfall along with the risk of damaging winds especially right along the coast and as you can see hurricane watches extend all the way from the Gulf of Tuanapec westward almost toward Acapulco in areas not even just along the hurricane watch but also areas further inland will be impacted by this storm. The following is a more zoomed in version of the track as the storm is forecast to make landfall and as you can see the hurricane watches don't quite extend to San Marcos and Acapulco just yet but don't be surprised if those hurricane watches begin to extend a little bit more toward the west with time and at the very least you can anticipate tropical storm warnings to go into effect within the next 24 to 36 hours. There were several reasons why the Hurricane Center decided to upgrade the depression to tropical storm Carlotta this morning. First of all we have a bunch of ship reports as you can see on this graphic and the red dot denotes where the center of circulation was estimated to be at the time and the closest ship observation was located just to the east of the center of circulation and the 050 on the northeast end of this observation indicates that the pressure was down to 1005 millibars and therefore if the center of circulation is still just off toward the west the hurricane center was able to extrapolate that the pressure was down to at least 1004 or 1003 millibars within the center. Also it's fairly hard to determine on this graphic but a microwave satellite pass was able to detect winds in excess of 35 knots so that was also enough reason for them to upgrade to tropical storm intensity and of course the forecasters at the National Hurricane Center are closely monitoring trends on satellite imagery and the overall structure of the storm on the standard infrared and enhanced infrared has been showing promising signs for this storm becoming a hurricane within the next couple of days. The center of circulation is moving closer and closer to the deepest convection and we have persistent new rounds of convection developing directly over the center of circulation. Meanwhile the upper level environment continues to look favorable for steady if not rapid intensification with the wind shear values generally lighter than 5 to 10 knots immediately surrounding the developing tropical storm and the high upper level divergence values that we are seeing directly over Carlotta is a healthy indicator. Meanwhile at the surface tropical storm Carlotta will be moving over warmer in water sea surface temperatures as the storm inches closer to the Mexican coastline. The values near the coast are well in excess of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and the total tropical cyclone heat potential is a little bit higher near the Mexican Riviera. The majority of the intensity forecasts from the models that we have at our disposal are mainly suggesting that the storm will remain under hurricane status, but it's fairly hard to believe given the favorable conditions out ahead of the developing storm. So we are still in agreement with the National Hurricane Center that Carlotta will go on to become a hurricane shortly before the storm makes landfall, and we will have to be monitoring the storm over the next 48 hours for signs of rapid intensification. It is also interesting to note that the westward trend in the models began over six hours ago and the most recent update is just adding on to the more westward trend and you can see at the end of several of these forecast solutions they are showing the storm slowing down due to the lack of any significant steering currents or steering winds and so therefore the storm begins to loop around and will potentially make a loop back toward the southwest so this is going to add to the heavy rainfall potential especially near the coast. So it is currently Thursday morning and today is the day to prepare for this oncoming hurricane if you are a resident along coastal Mexico or if you just happen to be in the area right now because as the Hurricane Center mentioned in their public outlook the tropical storm force conditions could begin to impact coastal areas as early as Friday morning. So you want to finalize everything by the end of this afternoon before the weather conditions begin to deteriorate. So thanks again for viewing the latest updates from 28storms.com. 
we're going to have more on Tropical Storm Carlotta as it moves closer toward Mexico, along with updates regarding Tropical Atlantic weather activity over the coming week and into the remainder of hurricane season 2012. And last but not least, but if you're on the go and you want to check out our videos on your mobile device, you can download the Hurricane Tracker app. Our partners over there have a very good hurricane tracking system, so you can check out not only our content, but some of their exclusive products as well. So thank you for viewing, and stay safe down there along the Mexican coastline.